Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Light Science Studios. I'm Sam Terrell, and today on Photoshop Fives, we are going to be talking about face swaps. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna be taking a look at how to do some face swaps. I had this session a couple weeks ago, and we have this photo of the whole family, grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, uncle, and the little, the little one there. So we have this photo of the whole family, and the only person who really isn't looking great is dad here. His eyes are a little squinty, and everyone else is looking fine, and in every other photo I captured, we don't have as many people smiling or looking at the camera there's always something wrong with somebody so we just need to fix dad here now i do have this other image where dad's looking great but again uh, grandpa's looking off and the expressions on everyone else aren't quite what they are here so we want to take this face and put it on this body now you can see as i click off and on from the layers here that they are not aligned so if we were to try to just mask it in now it wouldn't quite work so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select both of these layers by holding shift, clicking on both of them, and we're going to go to edit, auto align layers. We can keep it on auto and we'll hit OK. And Photoshop does its magic and now we have these two images aligned. So now when we click off and on, you'll see that for the most part, everything is together. Now I was not on a tripod when I shot this, however they were taken back to back to each other. Face swaps are always made easier if you do use a tripod, so I recommend always trying to do so, especially if you're photographing larger groups. All right, this will work just fine though, and what we're gonna do is add a layer mask to this top layer, and we're gonna start softly brushing with a black brush in on his face. Now, it's not lined up perfectly, but we can get it to a point where it still looks natural, and that's the key. Anytime you're doing anything in Photoshop, it's not always about making it real to life. What it's about is selling the fake. So we gotta sell this fake. Even though his face might be slightly different shape than it is in real life, no one who isn't seeing this tutorial is ever going to know that, and that's the key. So we're just gonna brush it in, make sure there's no obvious oblong areas or weird things that, that happen. Uh, we can always switch back to white to take some off if we want to but I think this is looking pretty good. We just wanna make sure that around the edges of the head and the ear, there's no ghosting. Make sure there's no ghosting where the clothing meets the, the background or his face. And basically, we just wanna look around and make sure there's nothing that stands out that's abnormal. And that's looking pretty good all in all. Just make sure I didn't miss any areas in the middle of his face here. Bring his chin in a bit. Here we go, again, selling the fake. There we are. All right, so there it is, just like that. Now you'll notice around the edges we have some blank areas and some ghosting and, and lines from the way that the program aligned the two images. So now we're just going to crop in. First I'll show you the before and after. There's the before, there's the after. Again, when you look at it back to back like this, you're like, oh, that totally is off, but you wouldn't know it unless you look back to back. So selling the fake, I think that's fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to collapse this image, we're gonna flatten it, and we are going to crop in the sides of the areas that we don't want showing. Just like that. And come down just a tad. All right. So there it is, no weird lines, no blank areas of transparent pixels. The face looks great, and there you have it. Thanks for spending time with me today, guys. Please remember to put any techniques or anything you wanna learn more about in Photoshop, put them down in the comments, and I will make videos on those suggestions. Please give this video a like if you got anything out of it, and remember to subscribe and hit that little bell icon if you have not already done so. We will see you next time. Have a great day.